So I went to the Neil Young concert last weekend, Sunday the 10th of March. Uh, well, it wasn't just Neil Young, it was Neil Young Crazy Horse, which is where I want to start this video. There has been a bucket load of douchebags in the media over the week, uh, basically saying that uh, the Neil Young Crazy Horse show was shit. And uh, we must have been at different shows because I experienced one of the best shows, best concerts I've ever been to at the Sydney Entertainment Centre on March 10th with Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Uh, I just want to say from the outset that maybe these people uh, don't know a lot about Neil Young and just expected, you know, when he brought Crazy Horse out to be the same as when he brought a band out last time. Well, Crazy Horse is a very different band than he brought out last time. Last time I saw Neil, uh, he played pretty much a retrospective of his hits. And it was um, it was awesome. I mean, that's how my favourite Neil Young album, is, like many others, is Harvest. But that's not all Neil Young is. Um, you know, uh, Neil Young has been banging around with Crazy Horse, making noisy music for years and years, and was the inspiration, obviously, to many, many bands that came after him, especially, you know, bands like Pearl Jam, who openly uh, state that he is a massive, and Crazy Horse's uh, music is a massive influence on their music. So basically I want to say to everyone who had the shits that Neil didn't come out and sing a whole bunch of hits one after the other, what were you expecting? He brought Crazy Horse, they got a new album out. Um, when um, Two Door Cinema Club toured last time, they toured their new album. That's what Neil Young's doing, he's touring his new album. Um, it, it, just because he's he's still rocking at 67, I've got to say, if I can hold a scooter at 67, I'll be doing good. This guy's rocking for three hours on stage. And I just think because he's old, people expect him to come out and, oh, well, I'll just do me old hits. But Crazy Horse got a new album out. They're playing the new album, guys. I mean, and they did play some hits. I mean, we heard Cinnamon Girl. Uh, we heard uh, In His Little Breakdown. We heard... Um, um, oh... What was it? Um, escapes my mind. <laughs> uh, that's the thing. Who wants to hear the hits? You hear it, you're seeing Crazy Horse creating music in front of you. Heart of Gold, that was it. He broke down and played uh, Heart of Gold just with him on the, uh, on the acoustic and then went over and played some piano. We heard Fucking Up. I mean, it, Hey Hey My My. Um, I mean, I know, look, he played 15 songs over three hours and some of the jams in the middle of the songs and at the end of the songs went on for ages. Now look, that may piss some people off, but you're going to see Crazy Horse. That's what it's all about. So I just want to say, if you didn't enjoy yourself at Crazy Horse, go and stand in the mirror and have a good hard look at yourself. 